Final design of Droship and all its animations are almost done. Creation process was full of surprises and experimenting, especially with track chains. Stay tuned for more development pictures and animations. Hello and welcome to another Vulcanoids Dev Diary. The Drillship visual is getting close to its final state. All experience and requirements found during previous implementations are reflected in this Drillship version. The hull of ship had to be enlarged to fit in interior walls and frame. Once done, we cut the ship into a group of objects that will be used for building any Drillship section. The idea is to prepare ship for texturing and small number of objects will greatly speed up the process. To ensure all looks great, we did a quick scene in Unity with new draw ship equipped with outside modules and all interior components. The modules are still not adjusted to the new design, but the rest works just fine. Everything is in basic shapes and texture to make sure the proportions and overall object volume works well. The goal is to have similar feeling like you would in a submarine. We always like to go back in our documentation to check progress and development. Here are several comparisons showing DrawShip model from our first dev diary next to the new design. Check out the video in the YouTube card for more info about the beginnings of this project. Anyway, the DrawShip went a long way, yet keeping its original purpose and concept. What do you think about it? Since the DrawShip design is set in stone, we started working on animations. Each time ship moves from point A to B, it goes through several states that have its own animations. The biggest problem was with track chains, where we tried many different approaches. After like 5th iteration, we finally found one that works. On this example, you can see open animation that once finished, modules are deployed and player can leave the ship. For more info about the draw ship movement, check this older video. Since we were working on animations, it was a good opportunity to use the gained knowledge on modules as well. The goal was to find a unified approach that can be applied to all kinds of modules. There are going to be many, and all of them have to behave in a similar way within the same state and animation length. There were a lot of experiments with grouping objects and deformations when we finally got a module that works well. From now on, all the future modules are going to be animated the same way as this one. That is all for this week's Dev Diary. Next time we will show you textured drawship as you will see it in the final game. There is one thing that we would like to repeat for new members of the Vulcanoids community. The Dev Diaries show development that is dated a few months back. The reason is that some features take a few days, but other few weeks. We want to keep you informed about how the game goes, yet we need to be a bit ahead to develop the game and keep posting in the same time. Don't worry, you will never miss anything, as the content is released in order it was made. Your feedback and suggestions help us great deal, so please continue posting in forums and comment section. Thank you for watching and see you next Dev Diary.